my crown. I know it too well. What is this? Sport. Let her sport herself with that she speak with. For tis Polixenes made thee swell thus. Be it known, she is an adulteress. Should a villain say so? You, my lord, do but mistake. You have mistook my lady Polixenes for Leontes. I have said she's an adulteress. I have said with whom? More, she is a traitor. And Camilla is a federary with her, and one that knows what she should shame to know herself. No, by my life, how will this grieve you when you shall come to a clearer knowledge that you thus have published me? Gentle, my lord, you scarce can write me thoroughly than to say you did mistake. No, if I mistook in those foundations which I built upon, the center is not big enough to bear a schoolboy's top away with her <laughs> to prison. Be certain what you do, Lord, lest your justice prove violence. For her, my lord, I dare my life lay down, and will do it, sir. Please you to accept it. The queen is spotless. How can that be? Either thou art most ignorant by age, or thou art born a fool. I have dispatched in post to the oracle, whose spiritual counsel had shall stop or spur me, though I am satisfied. The oracle shall give rest to the minds of others. Come, follow us. We are to speak in public. Pray you conduct me to the queen. I may not, madam. To the contrary, having expressed commandment. Is it lawful, pray you, to see her women, any of them, Amelia? So please you, madam, I shall bring Amelia forth. Oh, dear gentlemen, how fares our gracious lady, as well as one so great and so forlorn, may hold the other she is a boy, a daughter, a goodly babe, the queen who sees much comfort in, says, my poor prisoner, I am innocent of you. Pray you, Amelia, commend my best obedience to the queen. If she dares trust me with her little babe, I'll show to the king and undertake to be her advocate to the loudest. We do not know how he may soften at the sight of the child. The silence often of pure innocence persuades when speaking fails. Madam, <laughs> if it so please the queen to send the babe, I know not what I should incur to pass upon it. Having no warrant. Do not you fear. Upon mine honor, I shall stand betwixt you and danger. What noise there? Ho! Oh. Good, my liege. I come and I beseech you, hear me. I come from your good queen. Good queen? Good queen, my lord. Good queen. I. I say, good queen, Force her hands. on mine own accord I'll off, but first I'll do mine errand. The good queen, for she is good, hath brought you forth a daughter. Here it is. Will you not push her out? Take up the bastard. Take it up, I say, give it to thy crown. Forever unvenerable be thy hands, if thou wilt take up the princess by that Forced his baseness, which he has put upon. He dreads his wife. I would you did, then to pass to all doubt, you'd call your children yours. It is the issue of Polixenes. Take it, and together with the damned, commit them to fire. It is yours. Gross hag. And, Lozo, thou art worthy to be hanged, that cannot stay her tongue. Hang hey, all the husbands that cannot do that feat. You'll leave yourself partly one subject. Once. More. Force her hence. A most unnatural and unworthy lord can do no oh, harm. Me first. I care not. It is an heretic which builds the fire, not she which burns it. Look to your name, my lord. Tis yours. My child. Bastards' brains with these my proper hands, I'll dash out. Go, carry this female bastard heads to some remote and desert place quite out of our dominions, and there thou leave it, without more protection to its own mercy in favor of the climate. I swear to do this, though the present death had been more merciful. 
those you sent to the border will have both landed. Prepare you, lords. Summon a session that we may arraign our most disloyal lady. For as she hath been publicly accused, so shall she have a just and open trial. Produce the prisoner! Read the indictment. Hermione, thou art here accused and arraigned of high treason in committing adultery, Polixenes, and conspiring with Camillo to take away the life of our sovereign lord, the king. Polixenes, with whom I'm accused, I do confess. I loved him with a love even such as yourself commanded, which not to have done, I think, had been in me of disobedience and ingratitude to you and towards your friends. Now for conspiracy, I know not how it tastes. All I know of it is that Camillo was an honest man. You knew of his departure, as you know as you have undertaken to do in his absence. Sir, you speak a language I understand not. You had a bastard by Polixenes! So thou shalt feel our justice, in whose easiest passage looks for no less than death. Sir, spare your friends. Your honors all. I to refer me to the oracle. All will be my judge. Break up the seals and read. Hermione's chase! Felicity's <laughs> blameless. Camilo a true subject. Leontes a jealous tyrant. His innocent babe truly begotten. And the king shall live without an heir, if that which is lost be not found. Thou blessed be the great Apollo! Priest! Hast thou read truth? Aye, my lord. Even so I believe he is set down. There is no truth at all in the oracle! This is mere falsehood! The sessions will proceed! My lord! The king! The king! What is this business? <laughs> Oh, I shall be hated to report. The prince, your son, with mere conceit and fear of the queen's speed, is gone. How? Gone? Is dead. <laughs> Apollo's angry, and the heavens themselves do strike at my injustice. <gasps> Another! This news is mortal to the queen! Look down and see my death is to her! Your heart is not her She will recover. I too much believe my own suspicion. Apollo, pardon my great profaneness against thine oracle. I'll reconcile me to Polixenes. New womb, my queen. Recall the good Camillo whom I proclaim, a man of truth, of mercy. Woe the while. Oh, cut my lace, lest my heart, cracking it, break too. The queen, the sweetest, dearest creatures, Dead, O oh thou tyrant! Do not repent these things, for they are far heavier than all my woes can stir. Therefore, betake thee to nothing but despair. Uh, a thousand knees, ten thousand years together, naked, fasting upon a barren mountain in, in winter and storm perpetual, could not Conduct me to the dead bodies of my queen and son. 